Hi, my name is Bill Brewster. I'm a DJ and music journalist, and I'm in Amoeba in Hollywood. And this is What's in My Bag. Okay, so the first one I found is, is this, Jean Shy. It's not rare, it's not collectible, but um, when I was playing with Daniel Wang last November, the one record that made me run up to the booth and say, what is this, is this one. Uh, it's extremely camp, very high tempo, and a very Daniel Wang record. I was going to say, Daniel Wang, definitely a camp record, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's his speciality, it but definitely they're, they're is. amazing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Second one, since we're in the camp, camp. This is a cover version of I'm Not In Love, the 10cc uh, song, done in a disco style, which sounds like a, a disaster waiting to happen, but actually, it's amazing. It was done by Sherry Payne, who was a, a later member of the Supremes. And uh, I first heard this played by Norman Jay, well-known London soul DJ, disco DJ, who used to play this quite a lot on his Sunday afternoon show in uh, London during the 90s. And it's a, yeah, it's a disco classic, I think. Okay, so the next one is, uh, it's an album track. It's, it's one of those albums where there may or may not be other good tracks on it, but the one that I really love is called Magnetic Feel, and uh, it's by Enchantment, who did several albums. A friend of mine called Matthew played this uh, at a party, and again, I ran up to find out what it was, and, uh, and it was this. Kind of like an up-tempo, Philly disco sounding thing, so it's kind of, you know, in a, in a style that I like a lot and never seem to tire of. Okay, so, so this one is, um, I have this on an album. Average White Band did an album with Benny King. A uh, really good album, but the star cut from it is this, A Star in the Ghetto. In the 1980s, these were the greatest live band around. I saw them at Glastonbury, playing at lunchtime on a Sunday, possibly the worst slot you could possibly have, and turning the whole field into a party. And then I saw them again at the Town and Country Club in, in London uh, the same year, 1986. And they're still the most amazing band I've ever seen. They had two drummers and they never stopped. Wow. So they would just go from one tempo to another into the, into the next tune without ever stopping. So it was a, an incredible live uh, spectacle. <laughs> And this is a, kind of a rip-off of Kraftwerk, to be honest, but um, a go-go version of Kraftwerk, if you will. And they're a DC group, yeah? Very much yeah, DC. Yeah, yeah. Go-Go yeah. was a phenomenon in Washington, DC, and for about two months in London. Uh, it was very big in London, and then house music came along and swept it all aside. The tragedy of Go-Go is it's a live music, so mm. it never really translated to recordings, even though I think the recordings sound great. They're too long. They don't really work on radio, so all of the best recordings are like eight, nine, ten minutes long, which really works in a, in a live setting, but didn't work so well on pop radio. Right, there's this one, Clifton Dyson. I don't know anything about Clifton Dyson, but, but he did an album and a 12-inch single called Slow Your Body Down in about 1981. Slow Your Body Down is amazing. And I saw this and I picked it out, and yeah, this is pretty good as well. Watch your body in motion. And finally, I'm a pop kid at heart, and this is my favourite pop artist, and the Janelle Monet album. That's just the way you make me feel. 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 Uh -huh. I've only heard two tracks of it, but one of them is heavily influenced by Prince. 
And anyone who is inspired by Prince has got to be a good thing in my book. Did you want to talk about that last one? You know, I haven't got anything to say about oh, okay. this one. So it's, just, it's, just a, it's a 12 inch single, I like it. Thank you very much for talking with us today. Pleasure.